ओके डियर फेसबुक यूरोलॉजी व्यूअर्स प्यूर यूरोलॉजी व्यूअर्स as you know we are daily doing uh, uh, surgical technique based video presentations uh, in any number of times if you discuss about the pcnl we will be knowing certain new things because pcnl is one of the commonest surgery most essential surgery for urologist even if somebody says that i do all the cases with rirs it may not be possible large stone burden in in inability to reach the lower pole calcial stone so they are complementary and that to pcnl in india lot of the surgeons do and they will have their own uh, method of uh, uh, doing it some will uh, apply lot of uh, uh, mind on the cm and get knowledge so that your puncture is scientific your dilatation is scientific and you will get away with the small problems like bleeding if you are in a correct direction and in correct puncture so for this uh, in india we don't use ultrasound so often because we are not trained and we use cm only so cm is uh, two eyes like thing 0 degree or 30 degree whatever it may be in different angles if you see and interpret uh, whether your needle is in correct direction and then pass a guide wire then chances of success are more that too in every clinical situation it is different the depth uh, depending on the body habitus position of the stone rotation of the stone but if you know the basics it is better so dr desh pande sir is today our speaker he is senior urologist uh, from the west zone and he is from solapur last 10 years i know that sir does a lot of work in solapur and recently i came to know we were discussing with uh, uh, dr arshavardhan who is my junior and he said that sir uh, presents the the cm angles very well and it will be very useful for the juniors so with this with this uh, uh, relevance today sanjay deshpande sir is our speaker uh, good afternoon sir good evening in fact good afternoon good yes, evening sir. good evening sir thank you for uh, accepting this uh, presentation and uh, briefly sir you belong to which batch of mbbs sir 1978 78 and mbbs completed no no completed completed oh 72 batch yes 72 batch great sir great so yeah. you did your ms yes. from yeah no i went after mbbs i went directly to uk okay then so you did, did your frcs Yes, I did my first years there in general surgery, and then I did diploma urology okay. uh, from the Institute of Urology. Okay. After right. that, I worked for three years uh, as a registrar in uh, three four hospitals. Okay. Uh, and in the north, Manchester, Glasgow. Uh, before I came back to India. Okay. Uh, that time when you were in UK. Uh, was yeah. the PCNL is CM based puncture or ultrasound? Was it there or not? No, purely CM based. Purely CM based. Yes. Now, uh, yes. now, if any of your friends are there in UK, they say that now it's purely ultrasound based. Is there any comment on that you wanted to do? Well, uh, see, even in those days, uh, actually, uh, I'm going. I will take five minutes. For the history, yeah, yeah, sir. So even in those days, when I was there, eighty percent of urology was done by general surgeons. You believe it or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. So there were not there were not many urologists. Yeah, yeah. And out of those, see what Dr. Parsit Chibber told. See, I, at the institute, I had opportunity to see John Wickham, Mike Kellett, who was a radiologist, okay. and Ron Miller. Who were yeah. the inventors of PCNL in UK? Yes, yes. So uh, uh, Mike Kellett, the radiologist, used to do the punctures. Okay, okay. So uh, the question of uh, ultrasound was uh, not there at all. 
okay and i don't know what is the current scenario uh, but still i feel and there always used to be this puzzle between the radiologist and the urologist when for you know what is that the radiologist would not come he will say i don't have time so that was half the reason why urologist decided to learn the puncture themselves yeah yeah quite logical and when i was yes yes and when i was there uh, there were a lot of failures everybody almost 80% of urologists were still learning pcnl yeah yeah so that was the scenario yeah so and uh, there there were no uh, there were hardly any pig models because of this animal rights activists and all that yes sir so uh, with with uh, this i will introduce to you sir officially after that i will uh, hand over the program uh, okay. so then we can proceed with the program so dear uh, friends it is dr sanjay deshpande sir mbbs frcs urology cm image uh, reading in penile puncture so he was he is the consultant urologist at ramkrishna hospital 2001 to present date in solapur President IMA Solapur, President of Hospital Owners Association Solapur, President Sitteshwara Urology Society, uh, actively promoted endurological services in peripheries like Barshi, uh, Pandapur, Sangola, uh, Bijapur. It is not easy. One must appreciate that when time paper published in uh, British Journal of Urology on long term follow up of MACP in 1987, presented a video in Massicon uh, on catheterization, video presentation at UC Con Delhi 2020, logical analysis of the image seen on the monitor at various 30 degree angles of CM for depth perception during percutaneous access, invited faculty at Nagpur, Chennai, Mumbai, Bangalore for CME in PCNL, trying to find out various means to facilitate easier way of learning PCNL with the use of simulators. So when, when, uh, when things are tough, when education is becoming difficult, where the number of cases are less, when the students are more, government has increased a lot of seats now. So these type of lectures will be very useful because not all the professors may not be, may not be able to show because of lack of time. So let us listen from Dr. Sanjay Deshpande, sir. Thank you once again, sir. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Screen share. Good evening, everybody. Can yes, you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, see, when I started my practice in 2001, um, the ESW was ESWL was a, had come in a big way. Hence, the PCNL uh, rate was considerably less. However, after 10 years or so, People started realizing that the success rate of ESWL was not all that good. Hence, PCNL uh, came back and had a resurgence as an operative modality. So, uh, in the initial even 10 years, I also did not bother to learn much as the practice was going on. But uh, as I realized that PCNL, without learning PCNL, uh, you will be not a complete urologist. Yes, sir. I decided I should uh, learn PCNL. Now, um, see, I attended the World Congress at Mumbai again for PCNL. And everybody was asking the same question where to come, what is the end, how to, attend, how to know the depth. Then I attended the first percon conducted by uh, Dr. Again, same questions. In fact, he had to come next day to uh, explain this in detail. So, everybody wants to know the exact site of puncture, the depth of perception, the depth perception, and especially for beginners, if you don't hit the spot, it is definitely moralizing. You can't proceed further at all. So, now I will come. I call these as 12 commandments that you should know well, thoroughly, before you start uh, doing the punctures before you put your needle back the patient 
and i recommend that you read all available books like smith's endourology campbell's and any available book on this uh, and this chapter in the chapter in these books now the first five are we know very well and we are talking about composition decision axis formed should be from posterior lateral position and it should be through the renal trachea so that we will have a hold of the ramblas it should be towards the center of the calyx posterior laterally and it should be towards the center of the renal pelvis and the trajectory should not damage any of the major blood vessels these are the first five commandments of pcnl uh, now six seven and these three steps one is to know the exact point of entry that is the uh, skin entry which we call skin kidney distance this is should be as minimum as possible and it is less in thin patients whereas it is more in obese patients and this will tell us the direction to so place the needle in the actual tract which is the angle of entry and third is to place the needle in the pelvic epithelial system which is the depth we need to know now we all uh, we talk no there are these two standards two standard triangulation of course uh, sanjay sir sanjay sir sanjay sir yes there is some little lag yes, hello hello yes uh you yes, uh, there is some little lag uh, when you are presenting i will i will close the okay. screen and restart uh just this slide only from this slide only uh i am just uh, uh closing this uh stop you you uh, voice is also little breaking if you can close your screen and then restart better close the screen sir Yeah, restart. Uh, hello. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, yeah, sir. You are starting again, and uh, um, yes, slightly internet connection is low. No problem. Okay. Should I proceed? Uh, sir, now screen is not shared. Ah, oh, yes. Now we are seeing the screen initial puncture. Uh, we talk about prone PCR. Yes. Uh, th this is a slide correct, i am seeing correct. now uh, you, you yes uh, yes sir please start sir okay so we all know there are uh, two methods uh, of puncture which is bull's eye and triangulation of course there is a hybrid technique and gradual gradually landing techniques also uh, and initial puncture can be either usc guided or flow guided Here we are going to discuss only fluoroscopic guided puncture. Now the ninth commandment, triangulation, the direction of puncture is seen in zero degree of the CR. That is, it consists of superior medial, that is this superior inferior, sorry, and or medial lateral, which is this. so we want actually in this direction uh, the uh, puncture line should be so this will be seen on the the depth uh, will be seen which is a red axis is seen by turning the sea arm 30 degrees in any one of direction which it can be towards the surgeon or away from the surgeon or towards the cephalic end of patient or towards the foot end of the patient yes sir now now the 10th commandment is in we all know it is exactly opposite of triangulation direction of the needle is seen in 30 degree uh, of the cm while the depth is seen in 0 degree which is a vertical position of the cm 
uh, uh, once again it is the same direction of angle in 30 and it is in 0 which is reverse of triangulation technique. Now the 11th commandment is which is important, very important for the beginners. While changing one, that is direction or angle of puncture, don't change the other. This is what I have seen it when I used to go to, when I go to teach uh, in CMAST. Uh, if you want to change the angle of puncture to adjust the depth, don't change the direction. And if you want to change the direction of puncture, don't change the angle of the needle. That is uh, depth perception. So this is one of the fundamental things for puncture. Because I have seen often the beginners uh, not able to control their direction or depth uh, while doing the puncture. Next. Now, uh, the last but not the least, as said by Percy Chibber, this is called a sign of parallax error, actually. And it's elimination, as Dr. Chibber said. In both 0 and 30 degree of C, the position of the tip of the needle should be in the same place and not in different places. This is done by changing the angle of the puncture to adjust the depth after fixing the direction of puncture. So these are the 12 commandments I think everyone has to know. We will come to, properly we will come to the procedure. Now the history, IVU or CT, uh, you well, if possible, get a prone film. And nowadays, uh, a lot of people are doing plain CT or contrast CT. Um, if, uh, if the contrast is not available, the only thing you can rely upon will be while doing RGP, what we call as on table ogram. This is what which will delineate us the pelvic calcium system and its relation to the stone. Uh, and we decide which calyx to puncture. Uh, uh, pro check the position of the stone while observing the image on the monitor. Inject the contrast, which calyx you will puncture. If in doubt, inject A. Keep minimum SKD, that is in kidney distance. Now, these are especially this is mainly for the beginners. We should have these markings 11, 12, 3, psoas, midline. Uh, lateral border of erectus spinae, line, and iliac thrust. Now, these are the same. Now, of course, how to identify the posterior calyx? This is another question often asked. See, um, when you inject the contrast, the calyx which fills earlier is always anterior and it is darker. Uh, because uh, of the gravity, it settles below. And the calyx which fills later is usually the posterior calyx and it is lighter. Now, secondly, after checking contrast, if you are still in doubt, two to three C here into the system. Uh, this was mainly taught by uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Madhu Agarwal, uh, whom I respect. Uh, I think he popularized this technique of injecting air and suddenly some white box into your pelvic LSA system. So you know that that is the posterior calyx. Often it will not be seen when you inject the box. And most of the time I have seen this is much medial to the contrast calyx that we see. Now the other way of looking at seeing in the posterior calyx to turn the CM towards you, the posterior calyx moves away from you. I will give, tell you the logic of this later on. You remember this lamp principle and it's the same thing applies for that. So these are the ways you are identify the posterior calyx. Now, we all know these are the two techniques uh, uh, which we practice. Both sides will be easier. Your 30 degree puncture for the depth. Advantage, it is relatively easier. However, puncture is too medial, vertical, bring perforation. So these are the slight uh, sketches. Now, this as uh, I have from Toshia. See, uh, it is direction, direction, and uh, direction. Now, this is in 30 degree. 
Now, when you reach the place or not, if you are short, you will see this gap. If you are at the spot, you will be on the spot. If you have gone beyond the spot, you will, your needle will have gone beyond. This you will see on zero degree. So it will be no, no controversy. Now, voice is breaking. The, a little bit, uh, your presentation is so good. Voice is breaking. Can we improve and uh, your pictures are going faster than your presentation? I don't know why. Okay. What we'll do is this is a nice presentation. People will miss if your voice is breaking the country. Anything we can do for the signals. So we will stop our video. We will only present the presentation and audio. Whatever you do, no problem. But uh, yes. okay. We don't mind, uh, but uh, the see this is important. What sir is telling is very very yes, important can, for the audience. You there can see now, sir. Pardon? Yes. Uh, uh, we have stopped our video. Hopefully, the internet will be uh, much better now. Yeah, yeah. We have stopped our video, so hopefully the internet will be better now. Are you able to hear me well? No, sir. Your video is still present in okay. my screen. Your screen is closed. Screen is yeah, now screen is on. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Sir, what I will do for the audience sake, because yeah. if the voice is disrupted, the understanding may get, uh, uh, may get, this is very, very important. You go to bullseye and yeah. I, I will repeat in such a way that as if I am asking you so that they okay. will understand better because my voice will be transferred there. Uh, okay. I, if you don't mind, I just uh, repeat that. Otherwise, your voice is breaking. They may not. Junior has a lot of audience are online. Near okay. 120 people are online. So let them be useful. Okay. So go to the previous slide, sir. Bullseye. Okay. Go to the previous slide, yeah. Bullseye. You, you yes. said that. Uh, you said that in Bullseye, you keep the calyx aimed at 30 degree. Is it correct? Yes, the CRM in 30 degree. CRM in 30 degree tilted towards the uh, surgeon Sergeant. side. Yes, yes. That, that do top part of the CRM is shifted to surgeon side. Correct, correct. So in that case, you, you start seeing the only, you wanted to see only the calyx and needle in one, one dot. Correct, correct. You should, not, you, see the, you should not see the shaft of the yeah, needle. You should not see the shaft. Normally, yes. what happens? We keep the needle on to the calyx, rotate it so that it will be exactly like a dot needle Correct. and Correct. calyx, like a Correct. dot. Correct. Then you start puncturing. You go to the depth in that direction. Yeah. You advance you, it by two to three centimeters. And then you see or in zero degree. Yes. Then, then you see in zero degree. Okay. Th th there is a gap. There is a gap between the needle and yes. the calyx. Yes. So you should keep in such a way that exactly it should reach the stone in zero degree. Correct. During, the, during that time, you should not change the angle of the, uh, uh, the puncture. puncture needle. Correct. You should memorize Correct. and go vertically in the whatever 30 degree you have kept in bullseye. Yes. 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 Uh, next slide. Exactly. Sorry. Next slide. This you will see whether you have reached the calyx or not by turning the CRM uh, to 90 degrees or 0 degree. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, uh, which is which is quite uh, which is so this is quite easy for a beginner. Yeah, sir. Actually, your video is not off and your uh, presentation is little disturbed. If you can switch you as he said. I'll switch yeah. off your uh, video. Rajender, how to switch off the video from the online? Can you guide for them? Yeah. Yeah. We have turned our video off. Yes, yes. Now your video is off. I'm sorry for that. And you should be... Yeah. Uh, have you done the... Have you done the... Um, uh, what do you say? Um, uh, presentation... Optimization, have you done? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, okay, go to the next slide, sir. No problem. Okay. 
Okay, see, now we will come to triangulation technique. Yes. Uh, so this concept was initially brought for upper calicial puncture. Yes. So because the upper calyx is usually above the 12th rib, there was a risk of puncture. So everybody uh, thought that draw a line parallel uh, to the upper calyx come out and draw a vertical line downwards below the 12th to come to below 12th rib from where you puncture and go to the uh, upper calyx. So yes. this was initially the concept. That is why this concept of triangulation came. Very good. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, now you observe this uh, slide. It is a very important slide. But now the uh, letters are not seen, sir. Without optimization, it is shared. So you stop and then optimize and share again. You stop, optimize and share, please. Sorry for the inconvenience, but lot of audience are there. They are listening. This is a very important talk. So, can you? Uh, how is the slide now? It is. Uh, it's blurred, but uh, okay. We try without optimization. Try without optimization also, sir. Once, once again. Once again, without optimization, you try. Yeah. So we are discussing the triangularization. Sir says that it is uh, the upper calicial puncture because we wanted to go below the rib. Naturally, you cannot use bullseye you have to go a long distance to reach the upper calicial stone. So now it correct. is the correct. Uh, correct. Now you are showing at 90 degree for kidney prone position image on the monitor is fixed as this is a slide we are seeing. Anyway, little bit of blurring is there. A little bit of blurring is there. It's okay. okay. Sir. We'll proceed. Yeah. No. I have put the CRM on the left side and I have put the uh, image of what we see uh, so normally we adjust just like in URS image on the monitor okay uh, are you able to see and hear me yes sir voice is breaking and uh, anything I'm thinking, what Hello. we can do. If we, if we can connect through phone also, it is okay. A hotspot will be there. Uh, what, uh, sir, can someone else share the slides from different device? Uh, do you have the slide, the presentation? Presentation, sir. Huh? Sir, did not. Mm. Yes. Right. Presentation can be shared from my, this thing, it can be... Sorry, audience, uh, it is uh, everywhere it is raining, so disturbance may be there. Understanding this uh, triangulation, what Sir is telling in the C arm, uh, you have to keep the medial, lateral, uh, superior, inferior, you have to define. You should be in the kidney region. So if you are in the kidney region, then you will clearly understand where your needle is going. It should not be at the edge of the table so that your needle is half of scene, it should not be there. Once you inject RGP, so you should have upper, uh -huh. lower, medial, lateral. And in fact, uh, too much spine showing is no use. So you better show the calyx and the skin so that your entry of the needle also seen. Uh, huh? uh, no problem. If you, if you, uh, should I share the screen? Yes, yeah, sir. Share the screen. No problem. This thing is off on your screen. Video button. 
which will be now going next. Share sir, no problem. It is not coming, it's saying host one second, sir. Now you 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 present, sir. Now you share. Okay. Okay. Yes. Is it okay? Uh, now it has not come, sir. It is coming. Okay. It has. Uh, it is not seen, so it is taking lag. Now it is very good, very good, very good. Okay. So in this slide, you are showing that you should keep RGP entire part in your picture. See Yes. 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 Sir. Next slide, sir. Next slide, sir. Okay. You, just click once. On, yes. 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 Ah. Yeah. Yeah. So now. Uh, yeah, well, we should know a little bit about the uh, uh, CRM also. Very good. Voice is also good, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. So this is the X-ray tube. Yes. And here is the patient, and this is the intensive pair. From here, the image gets transferred to the CPU to the monitor. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, okay. can you see the next slide? Oh, yes, sir. Little lag is coming. When the next slide comes, you just uh, okay. uh, stay for 10 seconds. Now we are seeing the slide at 90 degree or 0 degree. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we know uh, whether the needle is um, uh, medial or lateral or whether it is superior or inferior uh, yes. to the desired function. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. We we can tell whether the needle is above or below, whether it is medial or lateral. In medial zero degree, you can, you can tell two things. One is above or below, another is medial correct. or lateral in zero degree. Correct. Correct. Yes. Correct. Now, okay. Now triangulation technique. Yes. After selecting the desired calyx, choose the puncture site and make a small incision and go inside the calyx. You should and you should see the movement of the kidney and punk, uh, and the puncture of and puncture the calyx. Usually, you keep around forty-five to fifty degrees. The principle behind this is. Kidney is um, 30 degree angled posteriorly and the posterior calyx is further angled 20 to 30 degree. So in yes. all, it is 50 to 60 degree. Yes, sir. Okay. Now you aspirate. If you, now you aspirate. Yes. Either you can, you should get a free flow or you should get a flow of air. You put air before. Uh, or the renal pelvis uh, will collapse uh, because of the aspiration or in doubt you can confirm this guy to see of collapse and uh, make a nip, nip. Okay. Okay. Well and good. Yeah. If not, that means you are either too deep or anterior Sir, your, slides are falling. your slide is going forward, your voice is reaching, that is the main problem. So, your voice is now aspirate with two syringes, the slide which is just came yes. now. Yes, okay. okay. So, okay. if you get okay. fluid well and good, if not, it means yeah. that you are either. Uh, two yes, either are... you are anterior or you are posterior to the calyx. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, how to find out? How to know whether you are anterior or posterior to the calyx? Yes, you have punctured in zero degree in the direction of the calyx. Correct. You, 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 are, you have gone inside, you moved the kidney. You yes. think that it is there in the calyx, 
but you want to confirm whether exactly it is there or not for yes. that you have to turn 30 degree top part that is uh, towards your side i have so there are there are four ways either you can turn it towards you or, or away from you or, or towards the head end or towards the foot end correct next slide sir please next slide yeah now 30 yes, degree rotation of cm not 30 degree rotation of cm slide is seen yes yes See, uh, different textbooks describe different uh, rotation of the cr for example uh, smith's textbook says you turn it towards you 30 degrees okay whereas there is a Contrast with the endo urology, which says you turn it 30 degrees away from you. Yes. And then if you look at Campbell's or James Lingman, written by, the chapter written by James Lingman. And when I went to observe different urologists like Jaydeep Date, they say you turn your CRM towards the head end of the patient. Okay. And there are surgeons like like Dr. Parsi Chibar, who said that you turn towards the foot end of the patient. Okay. Right? In, in whatever so, direction, you should know what happens to the needle position. Ah, correct. On the monitor. On the and monitor, you should, memorize, you should memorize that one thing. So, so, let's see. so I even I got confused. Next slide, sir, please. go on memorizing this. Yes. Next slide, sir. Yes, I have changed it. You tell me if you have seen. Yes, sir. That coordination is essential for us. It is not changed. It's taking okay. a lot of time. It has not changed yet. Okay. Okay. Keep keep it there, sir. It don't change because there is okay. a yeah. Now okay. it is thirty rotation of CM slide is seen. Yes. 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 See, uh, this is an image. This is an image from Smith's textbook of, uh, uh, sorry, from the Campbell's, where yeah. the CRM is turned towards the surgeon. Yes. Okay. Most of the surgeons do India this position, I think. Okay. Okay. Where the CRM is turned away from you. Yeah. The, uh, the principle being the radiation goes away from you and it doesn't come towards you. That okay. is one of the principles. Okay. If it is turned... The third is away from you, the X-ray, uh, the radiation will go away from you. Yeah. That is the principle. Yeah. Okay. Now, whereas in this... See, the CM is turned towards the Sir, head we are, of the We patient. have the same slide, 30 degree rotation of CM slide is there now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to uh, change it to the next slide now. Yes, sir. When I say that slide, when I read, then only you talk, sir. Yeah, yeah now, okay. Okay. Logical approach to the analysis of the image seen on monitor of CM at various 30 degree angle slide. Next slide, sir. Correct. Now we are seeing normal vertical position of CM. Yes, yes. Now, this is a very important slide. Uh, you, are, you are seeing the slide? I am seeing normal vertical position of CM slide. Yes, yes, yes. It is the same slide. Okay. Yeah. See, remember that when a patient is placed, the CRM is recognizing the patient's position in the position that we have placed. We are not moving the patient. We have not changed the um, software in the CPU, nor we have changed anything in the monitor. Yes. These three things are fixed. 
the only thing we are changing is the moment of the crm yes agreed yes sir okay however the crm recognizes whatever is here you are you are seeing my arrow yeah lateral you are rotating at the lateral level yes yes yes, yes. the crm recognizes whatever is here only and yeah. whatever here is medial and whatever here as cephalic and whatever here as caudal yeah hello hello yes. voice is breaking sir voice is not coming now we are seeing the slide analysis of the image seen on the monitor when cr correct. is correct now, now screen has disappeared sir yes we have started yeah, there is some problem No, sir. Voice is not coming. No, no. I am not talking. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Okay. Now the screen is not coming. We have shared the screen. It will appear in just few seconds. We have shared the screen. Yeah, already I am seeing analysis of this image. Correct. 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 Corre
Why is somebody is muting me here? Oh, we have restarted, Dr. Chandramon. Oh, yes, yes, sir. You share the screen, sir. Please enable the screen sharing, sir. Please enable the sh screen sharing. Okay, okay, I'm doing it. Yes, sir, we made you co-host. Okay. Are you able to see the yeah, screen, better. sir? Much better. Screen is better. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me as well? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Now, the image that we see on the monitor during the uh, medial lateral tilt, either you turn towards you or away from you, the needle is either exactly it is in the calyx or it is lateral or it is medial. To the calyx. Yes. And if you turn in the cephalocaudal side, if it is you, if you are exactly in the calyx, you are in the calyx, or it can be above or below the calyx. So Very this good. is what the so, scenario that we get. Very good. Okay. Now when have you have you got have you got the next slide? Yes, sir. Okay. This is one of the most important slides. Yes, sir. So, when we turn the C arm towards the surgeon, see, yes. this is in 90 degrees, this is lateral, surgeon is standing somewhere here. Yes, laterally. Laterally. Okay. And spine is here. Yes. Okay, now I have turned the C arm 30 degree towards me, towards the yes. surgeon. Yes. So lateral has come, see, because patient is prone, lateral has come anterior, anterior side of the patient. Lateral has become anterior. Okay. And the medial has become posterior. Mm -hmm. See, see I'm, I'm, you can see here also. I have turned the CRM now. Normally, it was like this, right? Yes. Now, the lateral from here has come uh, here. You, I see, the it. lateral from... You, you got my point? Yes, sir. Uh, what you are showing is... Uh, when patient is prone yeah. position, whatever the lateral is there, it yeah. is going more anterior. Correct. And whatever was there is coming posterior. Posterior, yes. Yes. But, but, but remember, uh, remember, sir. I have not changed the. I have not changed the patient's position uh, at all. So, if the needle is anterior, if the needle is anterior on the monitor, it will look lateral. Okay. And if the needle is posterior to the calyx, it will look medial to the calyx. Okay. Okay, yes, so this is how we should analyze. We should not by heart, whereas we can analyze this. So this is the way I try to analyze. Whereas the uh, caudal and 
kefali they remain unchanged because yeah. we are not uh, doing any kefali or cordal okay okay sir now i will change the slide next slide yes sir only thing is voice is breaking that's the problem this is a okay. very important talk what should we do i am thinking uh lot of audience are there i don't know whether they are able to follow it up or not if the voice is continuous we can make them understand because it's a critical part yes yes your voice is breaking i am able to understand uh, uh with difficulty so uh, after i but i know what is what you are telling but yeah. the aim is to convey to the juniors clearly if the correct, voice of if voice is not clear they cannot understand yes yes i agree with you mm. whether whether we will you want me to reschedule this See, i am in the basement so that may be one of the reasons for uh, the net connectivity mm. yes, i'm just thinking what to do because uh so yeah. can you give us 2 to 3 minutes we can go live from the mobile yeah live from mobile you can go you connect we will accept you yes uh, sir just give us 2 to 3 minutes sir yeah yeah no problem no problem yes yes okay sir just audience please uh, remember what uh, sir is uh, telling is uh the in cm uh, when when you when you very high ha okay okay chalo bolne kar sakte ho sakte ho pata hai the bahut acha ha bahut acha ek ppt ke tum hum dekh sakte ha there is a sir you if you want you can send the ppt to us we can play the ppt No, Chandramohan. If you can wait uh, literally for five minutes, I will go upstairs and uh, reconnect myself. Yes, yes. Go, sir. Go, go, go. Uh, Meanwhile, okay. I will be telling to the audience something related to that. Okay, okay. Here, how did sir? You you disconnect and go. Yeah, yeah. Disconnect. Kya lagaye? Is it madam mobile phone? Tumhe chala. Is the net phone here? Is it? 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 ंगलोटेड yeah so uh, the audience sorry for the inconvenience it is from the solapur sir is talking see some people uh, apply all this what what i do is i do prone i do supine they uh, the desh pande sir wants to get connected in 2 minutes from basement he wanted to go to the uh, he wanted to go to the second floor meanwhile we will discuss the basic point see what we do is cm will be there you turn the cm towards you you turn the cm that side you turn the cm head end you turn the cm foot end but the calyx which you have to puncture is is not going to be changed it is inside the body any position you see from foot end from head end from opposite end from this end from wherever end you see kidney and calyx are fixed except respiratory movement if respiration is stopped kidney calyx will be fixed so you hit the calyx is what sir is saying so if the needle from the skin go to the calyx correctly then water will come normally for this you have to travel with the needle towards the calyx that is medially because you are coming from lateral to medial that is the first basic principle in triangularization so you have to go but if you go on the surface of the skin can you reach the calyx no but in cm 
you it says that you reached the calyx that is what we keep as the first position that means your need is already there on the calyx but not true on the surface of the skin it is there now you put one skin puncture that is blind depending on the depth of the patient now you go down towards the calyx down because kidney is not at the skin level skin subcutaneous tissue rectus muscle external mu in the transverse abdominis muscle then gerotus fascia then kidney and then you go so for that uh, you are traveling down in prone position the needle will go down towards the calyx how much down it has to go whether to whether to go fully down it will go into intestine if you go superficial it will be in the subcutaneous tissue so you analyze approximately what is the uh, depth and go inside up to the calyx in 0 degree then you have to turn some people will directly go into calyx because of their because of their knowledge because of their three dimensional imagination oh ho, this depth is there so if i go like this move the kidney i am nearer to kidney i will go to the calyx then they will move suddenly water will come this is called monoplanar ideally it is by luck you are going into that place it is by your intuition you are going into that place but if the water is not coming what will you do you think that it is there if what is not coming then you have to move in other angle that is a second eye then you have to interpret that second angle is today's talk he is saying lamp i didn't know this but i remember only one thing that if the top one moves towards you top one towards you if the needle goes if the needle is goes towards the spine it is superficial if the needle goes away from the spine it is uh, it is deep so you have to readjust exactly opposite you do for example you don't know all this you have gone it is not there on the calyx so you move it go either anterior or posterior on spot you will come to know whether you are going towards the calyx or not that is what we follow but sir is making scientific explanation where he is saying image intensifier the x ray producer and imaging intensifier when they move what happens to the needle scientifically you remember so that you need not confuse he says but what we have practiced is that zero degree you put the needle you select the skin mark you go down into the towards the kidney move the kidney and then enter if you get water you are lucky if you are not getting you are nearer to it just missing either anterior or posterior that means superficial or deep turn the uh, upper part towards you then see whether the needle is towards the spine or away from the spine towards the spine or away from the spine so if some people rotate see arm to the head end then also your needle should be reaching the calyx so now sir has joined these points he wanted to go in terms of the physics not in terms of just a memory we all get the memory and then do it sanjay sir please join i am making you the co-host okay sir we made you the co-host sanjay sir sanjay sir sanjay sir are you uh, are you audible so 
संजय सर आर यू ऑडिबल डोंट यूज दी हेडसेट डायरेक्टली यू टॉक सर संजय सर actually when you when you talk about the supine pcnl also you have to imagine reverse in that case it is actually you go uh, from back of the patient towards the anterior surface it will be exactly opposite so when i started doing supine pcnl initially confusion were there so whenever you are in trouble what i say simply is move the come back Move, come back if the if the if the uh, if the needle end is not in the calyx, come back up to the rectus sheath, change the direction and go towards the calyx. Whether it you change it uh, uh, anterior or posterior spot, you can decide. There is if you are going more posterior, you will go more away. If you are coming anterior, you will come towards the calyx. That's all. So sometimes uh, remembering this. it's a it's a scientific what sir is saying is uh, more authentic but if you if you don't know there is no need to worry put in zero degree aim the calyx select the skin site go deep in prone whereas in supine you will go up you have to go from table towards the anterior abdominal wall whereas in prone you go towards the table that means you go down in supine you go up like this both are opposite prone you puncture down supine you puncture up so when you are puncturing it will be zero degree like this in prone you go down how much you have gone down like this in other angle you have to see so that if i have to reach this how much i have to go down is decided by 30 degree let it be any 30 degree so it's up to you uh, whether you till your whatever your teacher told turn towards you or turn sunale ke bagar bas sanjay pande sir hmm yale sir desh pande sir bola tha yes yes i can hear you yeah yeah now hmm. i we also can, can apla ho jale ke we also can very good we also can hear you very good now thank you go, go to the presentation sir yeah give me the presentation sorry audience uh, 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 this is important. So uh, we will go uh, to the slide of lamp. Yeah, yeah. Do that, put it. Ah, do that, do that. Do that. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, do that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. Ah, do that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay. We are waiting, sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. I'm, I'm, I'm there. Yeah, yeah. Share the screen quickly. Share, share the screen. Okay. Do you Yes. Can you hear me now? Yeah, everything is very clear now. Thank God. Good, And good, good. Now you go. Good. <laughs> next slide, sir. Next slide. Okay. नेक्स्ट लेट में कहीं ना ठीक है एक बार क्लिक मारो सर उसको ऊपर देन यस या या नाउ सो सो लास्ट टाइम आई शोड यू व्हेन वी टर्न द सी आर्म नो सर यू गो बैक यू गो बैक सर गो बैक स्लाइड गो बैक गो बैक ओके गो बैक या गो बैक नो फ्रॉम हियर गो बैक हियर यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर यू स्टार्ट द प्रेजेंटेशन सो दैट द ऑडियंस विल फॉलो ओके 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 
see uh, as i said uh, when we turn the crm in a uh, medio lateral direction okay the needle will be either on the calyx or lateral or medial depending means, on where the uh, that means towards towards the surgeon if it is turned yes. or away from the surgeon the needle will Correct. be horizontally yes yes exactly right if you right. turn the crm to the head end or down end needle will go either above or below that you should know correct 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 primary principle yes yes next, next exactly slide right. next slide right right now so you are now, saying that one minute sir uh, i yes. will come to the talk so that i will give yes. you you are saying okay. that when the uh, when normally medial and lateral are there correct when you turn the cm top part towards the surgeon yes in a prone position yes lateral is going more anterior that means towards the abdominal correct. umbilicus lateral is going correct. towards the umbilicus whereas medial correct. is going towards the back back of the patient correct that correct. means lateral correct. is going anterior medial is going posterior correct correct next correct. slide sir yeah now here, uh, here we are not i, I have borrow uh, here we did not understand at this place yeah. we disconnected with you yeah. now you explain this okay slide. okay yes uh, fortunately see this is a slide uh, i have borrowed from uh, dr parsi chibber who Very is good. also a, my mentor yeah yeah great so uh, uh, unfortunately i could not change this terminology he has said is uh, 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 bottom and top right yeah. now here you imagine i have taken a transverse section of the patient okay this is the transverse section right yes yes and i am standing on this side this is a lateral i have written here as b as lateral okay P patient is prone yes and the tube is below here yes. tube yes, is sir. underneath whereas intensifier is above Yes. Okay. So, on the monitor, see this is what you are seeing on the monitor. Yes. Everything will be as a single dot only. Both okay. the needle and Understood. the calyx will be in the same place. Okay. This Now, is when we turn the when we turn the CRM towards now you uh, as I said this is a cross section. So this is lateral. Surgeon is standing here. now the crm is turned from this side to this side yes understood okay so now whatever b or lateral has come here more anterior yeah yeah lateral has become more anterior i will i will just go to the next slide so it will become more clear okay we are understanding that yeah see now i have written here i have turned the crm towards the surgeon right yes. so that l or the b has become anterior yes. you can see here yes yes it has gone towards the anterior abdominal wall yes yes whereas the medial has come to the posterior side yes okay understood so on the monitor yes what what will happen on the monitor if the needle is anterior to the calyx yes you will see needle as lateral to the calyx okay if okay. the needle is anterior it will be seen lateral either of the way it is correct 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 and if you see the if the needle is posterior yeah then you will see the needle medial to the calyx yes yes understood so uh, if you understand this principle the rest is all easy yeah this now is I basic will, sir, now i will tell you uh, yeah. don't, don't mind no I'm no not at all what i am a student you are a teacher okay. what i understood yeah. i am telling the audience so that they will also get connected uh -huh. yes sir is want to make it simple that you imagine in zero degree whatever first you think medial and lateral simplest thing is that if the cm comes towards you top part automatically lateral is going posterior anterior lateral Correct. is going anterior that means whatever the lateral part goes towards the umbilicus you remember like yeah. that 
whatever the medial will come towards the back of the back skin Correct. so lateral goes anterior medial goes posterior that's what he designed lateral goes anterior medial yeah. goes posterior Correct. So same thing opposite if Correct. your medial is anterior it will be lateral opposite Correct. also same so by chance if you have gone deep 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 anteriorly it looks more lateral to spine away exactly. from the spine yes this is what sir if you understand same logistics you can apply in any angle is correct same. exactly right so first thing you have to remember is that when cm is turned towards the surgeon lateral has gone anterior simple logic anybody previous slide you go sir previous slide okay the, this previous slide see this is a very very important slide when you are tilting lateral or gone anteriorly very beautiful slide i don't know about this subject previously i have done thousands of pcnl but this is more scientific way of remembering needle in relation to calyx if your needle is more anterior cm will interpret as lateral to this calyx or stone correct this slide please remember and take a picture if you are a beginner who has passed out it will help a lot later on now you go ahead with the next sir because the same principle will be replicated exactly exactly same principle will be replicated if i remember correctly if you understand this, yes uh, uh, then you opposite direction is opposite correct correct as, as simple as it so next slide sir correct next slide yes sir so now i have are, shown yeah. here yes so i have shown here if the needle is lateral to the calyx that means you are anterior to the calyx anterior you have gone deeper in the body you have gone deep that means you come back and come superficial come back and go yes yes That's yes what. exactly beautiful and and if your needle is in medial to the calyx that means uh, uh, you are more posterior so, more posterior normally posterior. sometimes it appears uh, as if you are deep towards the spine which is not correct, correct. no no in no in 30 degree if the, if you are towards the spine you are superficial exactly. or posterior correct 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 in that right. case you withdraw and go more anterior so one word if you remember lateral anterior yes and medial if posterior you the medial posterior if that is why we CM, what? that is why we call it as lamp l a m p Ah, uh, lateral, anterior, medial, posterior. Either, either of posterior. the way, you can you can imagine. Yes. Very good, sir. Excellent. Yes. Next, sir. So uh, I have tried to. Madhav Tiwari has I've... asked a. Sir, Madhav Tiwari yes. has asked a question, which is very important yes. question. Is that yes. how to select the skin skin puncture site in triangle radiation technique? If I am if I am not wrong, it is blind. You have to assess approximately. You have to keep the skin side. Yes. Is it not correct, sir? Yes. that is the only yes yes it is usually yes usually it is around 3 cm yeah but however if, it, if the patient is thin then it will be much nearer whereas yes. if the patient is uh, thick obese then it will be more lateral right for example if you are doing <coughs> a one year baby it will be too medial you have to keep because just below the skin is yes. there correct Correct. Madhav, uh, uh, it is not. It is Correct. the only blind part in PCNL in triangle radiation is that entry point is decided by your brain imagining the patient body habitus. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Next, sir. Go ahead, sir. Next, next. So, so I have I have shown here L A and M P. So yes. lamp is the very easy way to remember. Uh, for the, sir, one okay. thing, this lamp is when you yeah. turn the CM top part towards your head. That is must. Correct. Correct. That correct, is must. Correct. So better to remember one yes. thing properly and then go opposite whenever you wanted to do opposite. Yes. When you go opposite, it will be it will become L P M A. Ah. I will show you that. For for the beginner, Now, better to remember only one thing: lamp when C M is turned towards yes. your side, uh, correct. It will go anterior. Okay. We will correct. listen. We will listen for the sake of understanding rest of the talk. Yeah, yeah. So yes. when you turn it away from you, 
see uh, this is here you have turned it away from you yes this sir this is the tube uh, this is the this is the tube this is the intensifier yes sir so uh, it becomes reverse yes see now now this is this is what it is yes on this side yeah okay you have turned the crm see this is lateral this is medial now the medial has become anterior and lateral has become whereas posterior. the lateral has become posterior so it will yes. be lpma yes sir okay yes sir so uh, now sh shall i go to next slide yes sir yes sir because okay. here we should not discuss more lamp is better okay uh, uh, the okay. then people will understand yes sir okay okay now now let us come to cephalocaudal yes 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 uh, see is, as i said totally some people, different yes 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 so, some people uh, like uh, james lingman yeah what is described in campbells or i saw dr jaydeep date routinely turning the crm towards the head end of the patient yes okay uh, now now let us come to the uh, philosophy behind it now uh, again observe this slide carefully and yeah. what i am going to say now imagine that the patient is lying like this yes not transverse this okay okay and i am i am standing uh, um, uh, in 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 my way as dr persichibar uh, explained in his uh, talk before yes are you with me yes yes sir please Ah, uh, now, when now, so what happens? Now this is bottom or the foot end, yes. and this is the top end because head is here and foot is here. Okay, no problem. Okay, but the CRM recognizes. Okay. Uh, uh, this as uh, the uh, uh, what you call this as the cephalic and this as the caudal. that is what initially we made it on the crm you talk i will i will call you sir ah uh, yes sir okay you, you 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 got my point yes sir so when we turn so now what we are seeing imagine uh, see so, crm is here yes this is the cephalic this yes. is the caudal Yes. or i have called as caudal as up and cephalic uh, uh, sorry the cephalic as up and caudal as down okay okay so this side is cephalic yes. and this is caudal yes so now i am going to turn the crm yes. towards the uh, cephalic end yes or towards the head end yes now as you see cephalic or the uh, top end will become anterior top uh, end will uh, the uh, top end will go anterior okay okay right see you can see here this okay whereas the bottom end from here this was towards the foot end this part of the uh, crm intensifier yeah. was at the posterior. bottom end it becomes posterior yes so what we call u equals a that is anterior and down becomes posterior u a d p okay okay you 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 got my point yes yes sir see basically you you are imagining you, you are imagining when you are turning whatever yeah whatever uh, uh, whatever the uh, cephalic side uh, Will, yeah. go will, will go anterior. Will become anterior. Go anterior. Correct. Cephalic will go anterior. Correct. So you should imagine Correct. how the screen is moving. How the screen is moving. Ah. Uh, well, yes. Along yes. with the screen, naturally, yes. Whatever that is at the end of the part will go posterior. You should think that the patient is also tilted like up. What will happen? Yes. The 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 uh, end part will go more anterior. 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 If you shift the CRM towards the CRM, head end, head end, correct, correct. Okay, okay. that means I, I will, if your needle is anterior, you yeah. you, you are to you you are more towards the head end of the head end side of the 
yes you, you have to come down yes 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 no 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 see if your needle is and if your needle is anterior yes that means oh, that means what will happen your needle is above the calyx above the calyx ha ah, so what jaitip that they used to say you withdraw and again go back in the direction in which you saw your needle before yes 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 okay you got my point that means you have to come superficially yes 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 exactly so if the needle is by you punctured in 0 degree you shifted to yes. the cephalic if the needle yes. is towards the head end it is anterior yes that means you withdraw means and you again gone go more deeper up. you are gone more yes. deeper into the kidney yes come back yes. and come back come towards the skin correct correct that's all that's all correct so entire talk is based on this so opposite you have to imagine there is opposite you can write down any time what you said in the beginning is whenever you puncture in a zero degree you don't know the depth correct when in correct. 30 degree you will know the depth correct for 30 correct. degree you can rotate the cm towards the u away from u towards the head end towards the down end there are four correct. options available yes in these four options there are only two things you have to remember when the cm yes. is turned towards you yeah the lateral part will appear anterior yes yes or anterior appears lateral whichever is correct correct so if the needle is more lateral towards the spine it is anterior that means you have gone deep yes that is called lamp yes. lateral anterior yes. medial posterior that is clearly posterior. understood now yes. some people some people will tilt the cm towards the head end correct you, correct you, you punctured and you want to see whether the needle is uh, the uh, anterior to stone or posterior to the stone if the needle correct. is towards the head end it is more anterior yeah. to stone that means you are doing correct so you yes. come back yes. you come back and come little superficially you will reach the calyx correct you correct. can keep the cm in same head end position yes withdraw the needle and fine adjustment you do directly you will go to the calyx Absol absolutely i was about to go i was about to tell you the same thing keep the cm in the same calyx position you need not withdraw come back the needle to zero. and no 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 no, no need to come back as to long zero. as long as you don't change the direction as i told you the 11th commandment yes where if you are changing the angle don't change the direction yes either of these things should be kept constant so here correct when you are putting 30 degree up what you have to do is just withdraw back to the rectus sheath turn it up and go down automatically yes. in that 30 degree it will be showing that you will be going towards your towards target you will be very happy to see yes correct you will be correct, very happy correct. to see that in fact yeah, yeah, the first time i did i was thrilled yes yes you that means uh, it, it become semi blind procedure becomes uh, very objective ha ah, absolutely absolutely you, you it becomes be more blind. scientific scientific right. you you will not go too much away from the calyx you will definitely reach the calyx in other angle ha ah. absolutely so in absolutely. that case that's why monoplanar is only individualized it's not the scientific it is no. the individual capacity to assess the depth whereas biplanar yes. in 30 degree is more scientific and you will reach it 99% of the times without injury yes 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 yes, yes. as long as you know how to interpret the image okay. that you see on the monitor entire today's talk is just to remember how to interpret uh, as, right. as your experience increases in one in one rotation you will easily understand whether yes. you are deeper whether yes. you are superficial so this is for Correct. only beginners uh, once you do 10 yeah, cases absolutely right uh, once you do 10 cases you, you will not remember all these things you know no 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 whether you have gone deeper correct. superficial correct correct very good correct. sir excellent for that uh, no. lamp is very good uadp you have to remember lamp is very beautiful now 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 i will i will come to i will come to the last bit which is also the most important after lamp the next is the most important i will yes, tell sir. you why now 
you turn it so this is towards the head end you have yes. got it u a d p okay yes. okay so now you turn it towards the foot end or the yes. caudal end of the patient okay as dr parsi chibber was telling in yeah. his uh, talk yeah uh, where he said uh, bipolar uh, biplanar technique yes so here here it is exactly reverse ah uh, sir better not to discuss that because people will get confused no i will tell you i will tell you why this is easier to remember yeah uh, see the natural human tendency is to think if i am down i have to go up yes. if i am up i have to go down yes this is a any human tendency no yes Th that is that is the way our brain works yes sir so when you turn the c arm towards a foot end yes if you see the needle below the calyx yes you know that you are uh, deep to the calyx so you withdraw and go up if you are down you go up if you are up you go down yes so this is a, a very easy way to remember that, yes. that is turning towards the foot end yeah that, this i suspect will be the easiest way to remember okay after the uh, lamp yeah upda yes yes because it is a logical way of thinking yeah. it is a logical way that is how brain works yes if you are down you come up if you are up you go down yeah this is the way normally we think no yes so that means what you are saying is that you have punctured in 0 degree and yes. then you you have gone to 30 degree to lt this side tilting, tilting towards the foot end foot end uh, yes foot end. if the needle is uh, is the if the needle is towards the uh, um, uh, t -t -t top you are posterior yes you yes. have to go down that means you have to go you deep you withdraw yes you have to withdraw and you go deep you go deep then it automatically goes yes okay sir so let us go next slide sir because uh, continuously if you tell this we uh, people will get confused Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. I think I, I think yeah. I think if uh, these four things will uh, uh, will be the it is the substance of my talk. Yeah. Basically. So, uh, uh, dear friends, you can ask any questions because uh, uh, see in bull's eye, your entry point is decided by the CM. Correct. but when you turn to 0 degree you should not change even 10 degree also the direction of the needle up or down you have to go vertically same direction then 100% you will hit the calyx but the only problem is any structure can come in between rib may come vessel may come so you cannot change if you change it is called hybrid technique whereas triangle radiation what desh pandey sir is telling is your entry point is decided by your intuition if the patient is obese it goes lateral if the patient is thin you are medial that is intelligence after the entry point is decided rest of everything is scientific you go deep change to 30 degree there are four methods you to turn toward you away you turn up or down sir is telling that if the cm is turning towards you it is lamp l means lateral a means anterior l a lateral anterior that means your needle is uh, more lateral in the cm that means you are anterior finish the second point he says is that chibber sir who is very senior is turning the cm towards the foot end in that case if the needle is above uh, towards the head end you have to go down that means you are already posterior if the head means posterior head means posterior then you withdraw and go more deeper so these two points uh, if you remember you can scientifically go in triangle radiation whereas this points are not applicable for bull's eye and in supine pcrl in supine pcrl exactly same thing happens but opposite 
I don't want to confuse Correct. because I am doing super speed channel now regularly. It is like yes. left hand driving and right hand driving. Suddenly you feel little uncomfortable when you drive with the left hand, left hand side sitting in other country. So you have to be careful. Best thing is assess the needle movement. Ultimate aim is to go towards the stone or calyx. By chance, if yes. you are turning left, you are going away from the road like in R G P R I R S. You go to the opposite direction if you don't remember. But this talk today, what Desh Pandey sir is given, even I did not know before. This is more logical, scientific memory of what happens to the needle and CM image. Right, sir. Correct. Uh, any doubts? Please type. Uh, uh, Narendra Yadav, you said Dr. Chandramohan, but you did not say anything. This is the right time. Any junior can. Three hundred and eighty-four people have watched, irrespective of some dis dis uh, disturbance. Very good, sir. Thank you. Uh, Thank sir, you. See, uh, 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 can I take a couple of minutes? Yes, yes, sir. Please. See, um, uh, any one fine day I decided to learn PCNL. Yes. I went to Dr. Pal. I went to um, Nadiad. Then I saw various uh, surgeons. Uh, doing PCNL, but uh, whenever we asked, you know, uh, how do you know from the monitor uh, how you whether you are deep or superficial? Nobody was able to uh, give a proper scientific answer for this. Okay. So I so I, I, and I kept thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. I said there has to be a scientific uh, way to know this. Yeah, and one and one fine day I got this idea. Very good, sir. And I I, I finally I, because of the difficulties that I went through, uh, I didn't want uh, others to go through. So I have made a animation of this, which is on the YouTube also. Yes, sir. Um, uh, animation which a uh, lot of especially the beginners uh, uh, do see it, especially the MCS students, DNB students. It is there available on the uh, YouTube. So af uh, after this, you know, it became more scientific, and you enjoy the PCNL rather than worrying all the time whether I am deep or superficial. Very good. Uh, this so, is how I came to this conclusion. Okay, sir. Uh, uh, we will, we will uh, close the screen and take couple of questions. Okay. Uh, Fine. Sir, my my uh, after you are because you have seen Jaydeep Dutte, Chibber sir, they are also yes extraordinary PCNL surgeons. What do yes. they say? In which position? For example, you have to all remember juniors, whoever are listening, the yes radiation comes from below the table. Yes. And go towards the screen. That is the first. Yes. Everybody knows this. But we should not yes. forget when we are doing the when we are doing the puncture. So, yes. in which position radiation yes. will go away from uh -huh. you? I, yeah. I feel thirty de thirty degree if it is tilted away from away. the surgeon. Yes, radiation Correct. will go. Radiation will Correct. go away. So Correct. that you, that I think I am correct, sir. Correct. Correct. Okay. Uh, next uh, question. Uh -huh. How do you how how if the in inferior calyx and superior calyx, uh -huh. there is no anterior posterior. Yes. Not much, more or okay. less they are compound calyx. Yes. Yes. So when you aim such calyx, I think uh -huh. that if you reach the most lateral part of the calyx, it is sufficient. Do you agree, sir? Okay. How do yes, you approach the how do you approach the lower calyx where there is no anterior posterior? It is like a round globe. Yeah, when I am in doubt, I inject little bit of air. Okay. Uh, and suddenly a calyx which was not seen before pops up. Yes. As an air, as an air, you know. Are then we start thinking are this was not seen at all before okay. when I put the dye. Very good. So you inject so, the air in a in a doubtful yes. cases, and whichever is the contrast gets diluted as a white dot. You puncture. Yes. That. Yes. Okay. Correct. This is my second Correct. question. Third question. Uh, you you generally in uh, in uh -huh. uh, uh, 
upper kel upper upper kelishial stones lot of uh -huh. people say that uh, bull side uh -huh. uh, uh, is less used than the triangularization uh, but uh, bull side yes. do you use in upper pole or not um, by and large uh, it is a bit like hybrid bit like hybrid yes yes because, because uh, if, you, pole, if you if you do bullseye, if you use bull side you are more bull... likely to puncture the pleura pleura it will be more medial and more superior yes, yes. that is the problem yes. that is the yes. problem so in bull side so, upper pole it will be medial and superior correct so there is more chance of injuring the pleura pleura that's why you have to make certain angle and throw right. that certain angle when when you put certain angle automatically yeah. you will become triangularization even yes. if it yes. is 10 degree if somebody says yes. that i will change 10 degree that means you have to see with two eyes bullseye is right. gone and 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 uh, chandramohan uh, see the um, the usefulness of turning cephalic or caudal Yes, comes in in this when you are doing an upper calicial puncture you turn yes. the crm towards the foot end yes 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 ah, Whereas, that, also, that also i am coming what you wanted to tell sometimes when yeah, you turn the yeah. crm towards 30 degree to you a rod of the yeah. rod may come in picture correct correct so if you want to avoid the lateral rod you you yeah. have to have an idea about the cephalic as well as the ah. uh, so always don't think that only one position i no 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 remember and do it no the, the, that's why today's talk will be very useful if any part of the table is radio opaque yes in your degree 30 degree towards you then you have to go 30 degree opposite or yes. head and up or head and down so Correct. all these angles you should know what is Correct. happening the needle in relation to the uh, in relation to the calyx i hope I hope audience appreciate that the importance of today's talk. Thank you very okay. much, uh, sir. Uh, what uretric catheter you use? Do you use with multiple holes or single uretric catheter? No, no, with a single hole uh, catheter. No, I am not using. Uh, yes, f five, five or six French. Uh, what is uh, what is the CM that is available in India? With which is very cheap and which is very good. Sabni sir told that in Ahmedabad, one company uh -huh. makes Siam. Uh, okay. do, what Siam you are using? See, at present, I have got the Meditronics. Meditronics, Meditronics. is good. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it, it is good. See, this was the original company. Recently, recently, recently uh, okay. I will tell you, I will tell you. See, this Meditronics company was taken over by Philips. Yeah, yeah, that's and, what sir, sir told. Yeah, and Philip people, I heard that they have stopped uh, manufacturing uh, this type of CRM, unfortunately. Yes, sir. So, uh, in fact, in one of our hospitals in Sholapur, recently they placed an order. So now there is no other alternative because these companies like Philips or Siemens, their basic cost of the CRM, the basic model itself will cost you more than 20 lakhs. Yeah, yeah. more so than 20 lakhs. Which more, more than 20 lakhs. See, yeah, we ask for Siemens, then we ask Philips, you know, none of them is below 20 to 25 lakhs, their basic model. Yeah, yeah. Even so when, recently, Allenger, I have taken okay. Allenger, which is 12 lakhs. But time uh -huh. lag is coming before I puncture. Time lag, okay. the, the image is not able to come before I puncture. It is taking time image. Uh, that's See, a, that is the problem I am facing. I had yes. a Siemens Cerimophile C, which is very good. Uh -huh. Okay. We had a Siemens which was giving the exact same uh, time lag in the past. Yes, sir. Yes, very good. So, that mission is uh, not produced now. Okay. Uh, so now uh, what they have ordered is this uh, Kiran uh, from uh, Chennai, Chennai based. Uh, yeah. What uh, is the Kiran? Kiran. Actually, it is uh, you... it is it, it is from a Trivitron company. No, can you do you have the phone number? Can you announce? Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, now you announce if you if you, because audience may get benefit. Uh, or I can type here. 
no no see if you put on the website kiran uh, x rays it will come no, sir people will forget uh, this stock will be there forever and it may be yes. useful what i mean to say because those who listen will immediately okay. call and they will enquire if at all it is very good no conflicts of interest i don't know no no, no 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 not at all not at not all not at all not at all not at all so we are see i went i Fine. went on the google i uh, say actually uh, just one, i will see if i have because we have a uh, local representative for kiran yes, sir okay his name is mr santpur santpur yes right santpur number sir s a n t a santpur yes sir um one second one second see his uh, number is 9822198221 9822198221 yes sir If anybody wants to nine, this person double two one, uh, double two one. You ten eleven letters which are nine eight two two one nine five seven six four. Correct, correct. Thank you. So we have already. He's, he is based in Sangli. Okay, sir. So this is the longest session we had. Anyway, to four hundred and four hundred and twelve people. PCL is a crazy topic, and you have made it. Yes. This is one of the largest attendance. I am really happy. In fact, if anybody learnt or not learnt, I have learnt this lamp. Uh, I, I was okay. using my own my own knowledge. I am highly highly benefited today. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, thank uh, you, in, thank you. So uh, in in future also you make some video, nice video, whatever you do, and we will come back to the pure. You are very senior, and it's helpful for the juniors like us. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for uh, asking me to share my uh, views.